Hey guys, today's art inspired anatomy video is on the tibialis anterior, which is that chin muscle in the front of your lower leg that a lot of massage therapists love. I personally love, it's one of my favorite muscles, but anybody who's ever had shin splints really hates. I'm starting off this time by painting all the bones that are associated with the tibialis anterior. So on the front, I've got the tibia and the fibula, which is over to the side you can't see right now. And then on the top of the foot and underneath the foot, I'm representing all the tarsals and the metatarsals because these are major attachment points for this muscle. The origin for the tibialis anterior is the proximal lateral surface of the tibia on the lateral condyle, which is basically just saying it's up towards the top and over to the side and lays flat on that surface. And some sources also include the interosseous membrane, which is the sheath of connective tissue that lies between the tibia and the fibula. The cool thing about this muscle is that it's got this long tendon that reaches around the front of the foot towards the medial side and then attaches very specifically into the medial cuneiform and the base of the first metatarsal, which are really fancy ways of talking about one of the tarsal bones and then a bony landmark on that first metatarsal. As I start to paint the actual tibialis anterior, I want to point out that I've tried to make this video a little more realistic. I've tried to show kind of the skin being cut around and I don't know if I like it or not I haven't really decided I want to still work on this but I had a lot of fun doing it that being said what I really want to emphasize about this muscle is that because it lies on the front of the lower leg and it's one of the stronger muscles in that area it's really responsible for giving us our balance when we stand and when we walk it really kind of holds our toes in a position that allows us to steady ourselves upright but it's also a major player when it comes to a lot of our more athletic endeavors. So running, obviously, kicking, hopping, jumping, skipping, you get the picture. But with great power comes great responsibility, and this little muscle can really be called to duty a little too much. When dysfunction happens, what we see most commonly is shin splints, like I said before, but we can also see anterior compartment syndrome, um, tendonitis and this can also be a contributor in foot drop so take care of your tibialis anterior and it will take care of you and of course by take care I mean get a massage wink wink nudge nudge know what I mean so here's the tibialis anterior in its glory you can see how it crosses down in front of the ankle over to the medial side and inserts into that medial cuneiform and the base of the first metatarsal and as I always maintain, if you know a muscle's origin and you know its insertion, you know what it can do. It's gonna pull the foot up into dorsiflexion and pull the foot in into inversion. What do you guys think about the whole exposed muscle under the skin look? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me, thanks for everything, you guys are amazing. And don't forget to click on the link if you wanna watch the video on how to work the tibialis anterior. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe.